All right, guys, the world tournament is here. Everyone's uh, favorite, favorite, favorite. Uh, no, not really. Um, at least there is a new free-to-play LR that we can go ahead and grind up. Uh, although that does mean I do have to take this world tournament definitely serious. A 50th world tournament we're on. 50 of these bastards, man. 50 weekends of hell is truly what it is. Um, all right, now I, I, I kind of, I never record right at the uh, initial start of the world tournament, but I heard that there's a change here. Yeah, there is. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay. Um, so we could now immediately jump into 30 times difficulty. That is a really, really nice change, man. Uh, so this is a nice little change for the world tournament. Again, world tournament needs a lot of help. I mean, we're not going to sit here and pretend like, world tournament is saved. Oh, we've set some rankings. I want to look at the, the rewards. Uh, but, I mean, it's still nice. It, it, little positive updates and changes and stuff like that is always a good thing. Uh, world Tournament rewards uh, seemingly are the same as usual. Again, we have the new LR Pilaf. LR Pilaf at least seems like a decent character. Uh, we'll, we'll see once we get him. Um, then, of course, there's missions. Remember, my recommendation, by the way, for you guys, like just, just like free-to-play players, stuff like that, just get these missions done. Please, I, I would ask people, please do these. I'm telling y'all. Just do these missions, and then don't worry about the rest of the World Tournament. The rewards for these missions are really quite good, including multiple free-to-play characters, tickets, Elder Kais. I would just highly encourage players, again, do the missions, and then don't worry about World Tournament past that. Um, I don't, like... It, doing just the missions over the course of several days is not that bad. I, I mean, it is still an annoying, tedious grind. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to cap, but the rewards are definitely worth it. What I don't recommend from World Tournament is going beyond uh, getting all of these missions done, right? That's what, it, it's just completely unnecessary in this day and age, right? All right, so real quick before we hop in, there is one more thing that I do actually want to quickly go over. Um, and that is, they have changed how the missions are structured. I, I think for most people, this is not going to matter. People aren't really going to care too much. But I did just want to point this out. For years now, um, there's been missions where you could use, like, a certain category for a couple of wins. And you would get, you know, rewards. Now, they, they've just changed it. And it's just having, like, a world tournament character there, which... Uh, it, it's really not that big of a deal because Piccolo Jr. is a world tournament character, right? LR Jackie Chun is a world tournament character who, who who's good to use for this, right? Um, so it's, it's just win 10 times. Like, these missions, uh, these are very, very basic and easy. Um, and then, of course, those Mr. Satan signatures right there are very, very, very important. So, all right, let's just hop in. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong one. Let's just go ahead and hop in. Uh, got a couple of runs in. And, uh, you know, you guys can, uh, you know, enjoy Spider-Man 2. I'm stuck in this misery factory right here. Uh, let's go by Namekian, which is this one. And then let's go Piccolo Jr. Um, in, in a second, I really should place my Piccolo Jr. Um, as uh, my uh, f uh, friend lead. Uh, Piccolo Jr. Oh, my God. I just realized Piccolo Jr. has been on a return. He had a return banner. Oh, that's so good. Of course, we don't get him turn one, but... P Piccolo Jr. has had a returning banner. Yes, that's so good. So, because... Okay, so last World Tournament... Uh, th this is the second World Tournament we've had since Piccolo Jr. came out, right? Um, In that first World Tournament, most of the Piccolo Juniors I was using were 55%. And Piccolo Jr., a 55% Piccolo Jr. typically would not kill... The fight, like the finals, the the final round, Piccolo Jr. would not kill the the that final um boss um in uh, one attack. Uh, here, let's just go for that and goodbye. See ya. Uh, this is so good, and th this this really makes World Turn so much better. <gasps> wait a minute, I didn't put any items on. Oh no, oh no, dude, wait a minute. We're gonna we. I actually didn't put items on. I'm, so, I'm in such a no-item, like, mentality that I just jumped right in without items. Oh, my God. Dude, we could die. That would that would be the most, that would be the funniest shit ever. Like, all right, first world tournament run, death. <laughs> that would be too funny. All right, let's see what happens. We're going to need some good RNG right here. All right, let's see how, we, how it cooks up for us. Uh, oh, okay, well, it looks like we're going to be fine. That's, uh, that's certainly not going to be any issues whatsoever. Well, that was uh, a little bit scary for about two seconds. <laughs> I, I guess if Krillin... 
I, I guess if Krillin supered right there, we still would have died, though, huh? Because Krillin uh, does do an AoE super, right? So we, we would have gotten exterminated. But you know what? Woulda, coulda, shoulda. We're all good. We're, we're all good. No problem. Uh, but yeah, Piccolo Jr., he is great for the World Tournament grinding because he saves on items. To be fair... Um, in years past, like, I, I saw, like, Japanese players would grind Ghost Ushers, right? Like, I saw a lot of them would grind out. I think that a lot of them did the Janemba stage. Um, the first stage of the Janemba Dokkan event, you, I think you fight, I think it's just Fat Janemba, right? I think you fight Fat Janemba, and he drops either a King Yama or a Ghost Usher, either or. And I believe a lot of Japanese players would grind that back in the day. Um, okay, so let's go, um, go Susher. Let's go King Yama. Um, and then, uh, let's do a Chi Lai. Where is my baby? And then a Ghost Susher. Yeah, perfect. We'll just go ahead and jump in like this. Um, items, again, are far less needed. Oh, bonus team already. Nice. Uh, items are far less needed, um, you know, with a double mid junior setup. Um, I, I've seen some people use Majunior as leader because, of course, you know, we could get a, a little bit of extra stats with Majunior as leader. I don't know that it's the biggest deal ever. By the way, remember, uh, when you're using Majunior, um, so you always want to use Majunior's active skill, by the way, in slot 2 or 3. That is essential because, remember, Majunior only gets the 100% attack and defense in slot 2 or 3. But specifically, what we're looking for is the attack, right? The attack is super important. He only gets that in slot two or three. So you must do his active skill in slot two or three. The other thing, too, is that, uh, remember, Piccolo Jr. builds up damage. Uh, what is it? With every super attack he does, up to five supers, and he builds up his max damage. So the way you want to do this with Majunior is, especially in the finals, which we're about to hop into, which is really where it truly matters, uh, you want, like, a lot of the times... Um, a lot of Japanese players, at least in my experience, uh, are rocking... Uh, um, I'll just bring that... I, I don't want to go through my friends list yet until I have to. I know there are some rainbow friends right there, but I don't want to use them until I have to. Uh, it's just, just what I was about to say. A lot of the Japanese players I face in World Tournament, they, they use this physical Ginyu and lead with them, right? So, boom, right here. The, oh, but we didn't get Piccolo Jr. Damn, dude. Wait, no, we're not in the finals? Wait, am I... Am I losing my mind? I thought we were in the finals. I guess I've, I'm too busy chatting away. I didn't even notice. Bruh. Uh-oh. Okay, well, anyway, th this is a perfect example of what I was talking about, though. Um, so, like, a fight like this, if you would do Piccolo Jr.'s active in slot 2, you would fire it off, and the first attack would be against, you know, physical Ginyu, who Piccolo Jr. can struggle to kill at times. Um, so what you'd want to do is you would want to target a different enemy that's not physical piccolo jr will easily kill like you know an str enemy or an e uh, tech enemy or an ejl or something like that he'll definitely always one shot them but then that counts as a super attack performed so he will build up so he will actually have more damage available when he then targets um the ginyu force right so that's very important to understand um i think a lot of people weren't really uh super aware of that uh during the last world tournament but remember that's how it works uh what's the other character is it um, LR Evolution Blue Vegeta has a similar mechanic? Uh, what is it? Where he builds up, it, he builds up key with every attack he does, or something like that. It's, not, it's something like that. And uh, with his active skill, because remember, uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta's active skill is an AOE, but you can only do it on turn four. If you haven't built up, you can build up like that. Um, this, I mean, I guess we could take advantage of what I was talking about here, right? So uh, we could target Majin Vegeta. And it, it's like, well, I mean, no matter what, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're going to be fully built up by the time we hit the, the Dragon Ball Super Broly back there anyway. Um, by the way, I don't really highly recommend uh, going too much for, like, Dragon Ball Super Broly or the Metal Cooler movie SDR Piccolo. I'm not the biggest, like, proponent of them um, because their TURs, you'll get slightly less points. But, I mean, one thing I should mention that's very important, though, is that SCR Piccolo from the Metal Cooler movie, um, Physical Dragon Ball Super Broly, and then obviously Piccolo Jr. right here, 
I, those are kind of like the three best world tournament units, right? Like, they're the most effective at just, like, the turn starting. And they just get, like, these instant super attacks off that will clear the enemy field, right? A lot of the LRs, it's not as easy and as fast to just get these big super attacks out. I, I think that's very important. So, I, I wouldn't recommend overloading your team with the TURs, but... I do need to acknowledge that, like, you know, again, the Metal Cooler movie Piccolo and these characters, it's just way easier to, to do what they do. Um, but remember, you get more points um, using LR setups. That's the thing. Uh, I'll just be super safe and just pop a Ghost Rush right here. There, there's no reason not to, right? Uh, we're getting kind of unlucky. I mean, this is, th th this is the type of thing that would make us go really slow through World Tournament. Double Piccolo Jr. in the second turn, right? Because... You know, using items that, that using items is one of the things that I truly hate about World Tournament, right? Just having to constantly just be using items, using items, using items. It just drives me nuts. So, all right, there we go. Um, just wanted to get my typical video out. Like, yes, the 50th World Tournament is here. Uh, I'm gonna try and grind very hard this World Tournament um, because I do want to make sure to try and get two copies of LRP Law. It's not the biggest deal if I don't get them. But the point is, is that, you know, you can rainbow the local LR in three world tournaments. Two of the three, you need to get top one local. So I really would prefer to get top one local right here. And then, you know, maybe if I, I get cocked in the second, like, world tournament or something like that, I'll be ready to rainbow peel off in the third one. Uh, that's, I, I do wish that they would stop doing one thing, though, which is, like, LRs, like, not letting us rainbow them for months. Like, I... Like... LR Pilaf might be okay right now, maybe. I mean, I don't know. I don't have, like, a, bro, he's not even out yet, right? Like, maybe he's okay, but by the time we're actually able to rainbow him, I mean, our boss is going to be even stronger, probably, right? Like, we're probably going to have a new hardest fight from the, the ninth anniversary. So it's like, by the and Pilaf won't be rainbow by ninth anniversary. I, I think we'll probably be able to rainbow Pilaf in June? of 2024 maybe may of 2024 probably it's when the, th the third world tournament would be so it's gonna be it's gonna be a little while and by the time we get him uh, like he's gonna suck ass like it's like lr giant hatchiak like i feel like he like like for a free-to-play lr just from like battlefield or something like that like they did a decent job like he's okay but uh I i'm just like you know like i sure wish i could have rainbowed him when he came out back in November of 2022, he would have been a, a lot more effective back then when Broly, Broly, I think, was still really in competition for, like, hardest fight. Like, you could make a really good case for it because of the way it canceled dodge and the AoE super attacks and stuff like that, right? The AoE is devastating, but now, I mean, every boss just does AoE. See, you know, every single goddamn boss has AoE, so I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this dreadful world tournament mode. We all hate it, but, you know. The rewards, at least, are very good. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll catch you all uh, next time. We'll, we'll do some uh, summons later on. Some summons, 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 summons.